Do you know your difference in speed at release and the speed at the plate? Hi again, everybody. I'm Larry Sorensen, a former Major League All-Star. Today, let's talk about your flight time, approach angle, and speed at the plate using the PitchLogic Pro app. The 55-foot tab in PitchLogic Pro gives data about what the ball is doing as it reaches home plate. 55 feet is used as a standard approximation of the distance from the pitcher's release point. The time at 55 feet is the flight time, or the time it takes to reach 55 feet after it leaves the pitcher's hand and is measured in milliseconds, or one one-thousandth of a second. The angle at 55 feet is the approach angle, or the vertical angle of the ball's path as it approaches the plate, and that's measured in degrees. Approach angle is almost always negative, which indicates that the ball is dropping as it reaches the plate. Speed at the plate is shown in miles per hour. Pitches typically lose significant speed from release to home plate, about 9 to 10% on average. The flight time represents the amount of time a batter has to see the ball, make a decision, and try to make contact. For a fastball, the goal is to give the batter as little time as possible. For a changeup, a pitcher can disrupt a batter's timing by increasing the flight time and making the batter swing too early. For this to be effective, the pitcher has to maintain the appearance of their fastball delivery. Approach angle shows how sharply the ball is moving downward as it reaches the batter. Breaking balls with a steeper approach angle have a smaller window of time when the ball and bat are on the same plane. Although flight time is closely related to speed, it can be a useful tool in gauging the effectiveness of changeups and breaking balls. A swinging bat can move a foot in 10 milliseconds or less, so even relatively small changes in flight time can be disruptive. When each pitch in a pitcher's arsenal has a distinctly different flight time, the pitcher has a greater chance of disrupting the batter's timing. There are several things that affect the approach angle of a pitch. A higher release point will naturally create a steeper approach angle since the pitcher is throwing downward toward home plate. Another key factor is the amount of vertical movement. Balls with positive vertical movement will have a flatter trajectory and approach angle. Pitches with negative vertical movement will curve downward more sharply and have a steeper approach angle. To increase the approach angle of a breaking ball, look to increase the top spin. To decrease the approach angle of a fastball, try to create more backspin. Ultimately, the more deviation from the average pitcher, the more difficulty you will create for batters. Experiment and compare to teammates or training partners to find out what makes your pitching unique.